Hey guys! So today we are making this beautiful heart cake for Valentine's Day. This holiday makes me sick. <laughs> I do love this design though, and I love the colors, the red and the blue. It's just that I'm single and this holiday sucks for me. But I do love this cake, so let's get started. Oh, Valentine's Day. I will probably like you at some point when I'm, you know, able to shove my relationship into everybody's face. But until that day, you are terrible and I am disgusted. Now, to create this cake, I'm using a square strawberry cake. And I'm using strawberry because of pink and Valentine's Day. You get it? You get it. It's cheesy. I created a template for a heart and I'm just going to cut it out using my IKEA paring knife. It's so cute, you guys, isn't it? Not really, but it's iconic, like Madonna. I'm just gonna pull away the excess, and if you notice, I made it so that one side of my heart is larger than the other. I really like that sort of uneven heart. It's kind of like a real relationship, you know, where one person likes the other person more than the other person likes that person. Which one are you? Oh, are you in a loving relationship where you guys love each other equally? I don't have anyone. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Now I'm gonna place my strawberry cake onto my cake board and I'm gonna add some vanilla buttercream into the middle. I'm just gonna squiggle it all the way around and then at the top as well. Now I want this to be completely flat, so I'm gonna take my offset spatula and just smoothen it out. Now because this is a Valentine's Day cake, I wanted this to be super special even though I don't care. So I'm putting hearts into the middle of this. It looks so pretty, you guys. I kind of feel like if you didn't know that these hearts were in the middle, you could choke on them. <laughs> don't choke on it, it's Valentine's Day, that's what she said. <laughs> now to make this even more special, I'm just sprinkling on some very colorful sprinkles that I bought at the bake shop. They look pretty, huh? I'm adding just little dots of buttercream so that it sticks to the top layer of cake. Now I don't want this cake to be completely flat so I'm just taking my paring knife and rounding out the edges. I just want to enhance all of the different curves of the heart. So I'm curious, what are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? Oh yeah, you're going out to dinner with your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your husband or your wife? Wow, that must be exciting. Congratulations. I'm gonna owe me, I'm just gonna stay home and shoot music videos with my cats. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine, it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna be that crazy cat man. <laughs> I'm gonna squiggle on some buttercream onto the top of the cake and give this baby a crumb coat. The crumb coat just ensures that all the crumbs stay on this layer of icing and it doesn't get too messy, you know, but maybe it should because love is super messy, you know, but it's worth it. That's what I've been, I mean, I saw the notebook. I could really use some Ryan Gosling right now. <laughs> now while that was in the fridge chilling, I was watching some Netflix and I was watching Ocean's Eleven. That is such a good movie. And it doesn't feel dated and all of the cast members are, they're men and I could really use some Brad Pitt right now. <laughs> now more than half of this cake is covered in fondant flowers. And to create these flowers, I'm just using some silicone impression molds and some fondant cutters that I found on Amazon. Oh, did you want the molds and the cutters so that you can recreate this for your valentines? No, thank you. There are no links for you in the description box, all right? There's just that generic sentence for metadata at the beginning of the description box that says this awesome cake is great for a blah blah blah. Too bad, you're just gonna have to get a heart shaped cake from the grocery store. Oh, sucks for you. I'm gonna eat this cake with my cats. I'm gonna roll out some red fondant. I'm just gonna use some fondant cutters to cut out all of the petal shapes. Now this was a set of three and each of the cutters was smaller than the other. And I'm just gonna stack the flowers on top of each other to make them 3D. 
Now I wasn't really happy with the texture that came with this cutter. I wanted something more realistic. So I'm using a second silicone impression mold to emphasize the different textures on each petal. And actually this impression mat took forever to get to me. I bought it on the Wish app and it took like two months, no joke. Yeah, this process took forever, oh my lord, but it was worth it in the end. Now besides creating these flowers, I'm also using another impression mold to create some roses. You just take some fondant, push it into the mold, and then pull it out, and it looks so pretty. So I'm using the largest, the middle, and the smallest. Now for these flowers, I'm just going to use a little bit of magic sauce and attach each of the petals to each other. The largest one's going to be on the bottom and the smallest one's going to be on the top. Then using the back of my paintbrush, I'm just going to push down a little bit to join the fondant petals together and also create a little bit more space in between each of them. And then into the middle, I'm going to add the smallest rosebud. Now you're just going to repeat this process until you have an entire tray of flowers. Now I started with larger ones and then I made smaller ones just so when I placed them on the heart there was this variation of size. Let's finish this heart and get over with this video <laughs> that I can't even with. I'm going to add some buttercream onto my cake and I'm just going to spread it out. Now you don't actually see me doing this, but I was taking this cake and placing it in and out of the fridge. I probably did it about three times. That way the outside of the cake would solidify and it would be easier to carve. I wish my flirting skills was as smooth as this buttercream. <laughs> Now once I was happy with this layer of buttercream, I added another one. And it's a blue and it's sort of like a... Oh, hold on. Where's the... You see? With all the other videos, I was like making up colors like Gloopal. And someone was like, that's Periwinkle. Get out of here, you ignorant baker. So I went to Home Depot and I stole all of these. So instead of creating my own color, we're going to be using a color that exists. And it's called... Paradise Sky. Oh, I like that. You see the little bear at the top? Hey bear, spawn some me. So this color is just a light blue with a hint of green. And I'm just going to spread it onto the top of my cake. And I really, really like the unfinished textured look of the buttercream. I love the inconsistencies where there's like spots where it's bare and spots where the buttercream is too heavy. I think it adds a lot of depth. And once I finished covering the top of the cake, I made sure to get the sides and the bottom. I just want to make sure that the entire cake is covered in, in, the, in the paradise, paradise blue. Now the entire time I was placing on the icing, I was just singing the NSYNC song. Your love is like a river, peaceful and deep, peaceful and deep. Now after I was happy with that coat, I added a second color. Um, and this one's called High Dive, you see it? Now this layer will give the cake a lot more depth. I just wanted to make it so that the icing underneath the flowers is a little bit darker in color. And I'm also going to add this color just sparingly on the left side. Now I'm just going to clean the cake board and look at me. I feel like I'm just trying to sell this hat to you guys right now. Isn't this cake pretty? Gosh, why does it have to be for Valentine's Day? And why couldn't it be for a better holiday? And once I was happy with my buttercream, I started adding all of my fondant flowers. Oh, and the color for this is red. I added the red flowers. And when I was placing all the flowers on, I was like trying to figure out the placement, kind of like a florist, maybe. Just want to make sure that there's a mixture of big and small on the heart. And towards the center of the heart, I started to play with the spacing in between each flower as well. Now the other side of the heart seemed a little too bare. And so I added a few flowers just to give some detail to the negative space. And voila, our beautiful Valentine's Day heart cake is complete. I love the different blues. I love how the blue color sort of interacts with the red. It looks like icing art. Now I know that I'm like super salty and jealous, but I want you guys to enjoy your Valentine's Day however you're spending it. And just know that if you're like on a date and your pictures appear on my Instagram feed, I saw it. 
but I'm not liking it. <laughs> and make sure you hit that notification button so that you can see when my videos are published and you get to see all of the cakes and things that I'm currently working on in the community tab. Um, and if you've been following me in the community tab, then you know that I'm doing the merch. No, uh, wrong side? The merchandise. I've been working on a whole line of t-shirts that represents all of the content that's going to be posted in 2018. They look super cute, you guys, so get ready for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!